To start, uh, tell us about yourself, your name, your chapter in school, and what position you're running for. Well, I'm Michael Abraham Lewis. I'm from Alpha Delta Mu. And the school I go to is Lanky Community College, which is in the Mays Lane, New Jersey. It's the center of, like, I guess, New, New Jersey, South Jersey, whatever you want to say by the Pine Barrens. And I am running for New Jersey president, region president. Uh, what is your major, your academic and professional goal, uh, any volunteer involvement, and any campus leadership that you're currently doing? Well, my major goal, I have a few, because I mean, I think to the future a lot. And I like to have something to fall back on if one of my dreams fails. So I, maybe I want to go to marketing, I want to go to the marketing, be the creative side, because the business side is not really me. It's just, I just feel so restrained there. If that fails, I'd go into radio. I love radio. I had a radio show at my college a few times. Um, or I'd go and teach history at a school. I have a minor in history. There's so much I could really do. And uh, what was the end? What was the end of that question? Uh, any uh, volunteer, any volunteer involvement, and any campus leadership positions. Well, I used to volunteer a lot when I was a kid uh, with my synagogue. I would, you know, clean up. We owned a street, so we owned this uh, really busy street, and people throw trash everywhere. So we'd go there like a few times in the year, clean up. Or when I went to high school, I did Key Club, which is like Circle K, but it's it's on a smaller scale. And I did I did babysitting of this and that and. The Key Club really showed me what I could really do for my community. And getting into college, I didn't really do many, much volunteering until I got into PTK, and we did the Honors in Action, so on and so, on and so mm -hmm. forth from there. Okay. Uh, what is the primary reason you are seeking regional office? Well, I'm seeking regional office because it's, it's, it's a huge opportunity, and I my my advisor was talking to me about it. And I really wanted to take it, her up on that. You know, it's a really, I'll be very busy and this and that, but I think, you know, there's so much you could do for the state, for the community colleges in the area, you know? And I hope that if I do win this, that I could do some, I could grow with the schools and learn more from them than I know, than, 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 learn from them so I can know more about myself, that's what I'm trying to say. And our last question, in your opinion, what is the most important issue facing community college students today? Well, there's a, there's a few. You know, I see one of them when I, where I go. Uh, a lot of kids don't have the, I guess, the drive to succeed. They don't really see it as, as, as important as it really is. You know, it's community college, but they, maybe they think it's like, you know, it's, oh, it's not a four-year school. It shouldn't really matter. Or maybe they just came out of high school. You know, when I was in high school, I know that I was, we were babysitted by all of the teachers. They'd be like, oh, you got a hint of this, and they would follow up of our parents, they follow up of us. When you're in college, you don't have that backdrop. It's all you, it all is, it's on your shoulders, all the way. And some kids are not used to that. So that's why I feel like some of the kids are, I guess, getting these bad GPAs, failing their classes, you know, and it's something that we could fix. It, it's, it's, it's not easy, but if we really just band together, it's something we could do and change.